What's up guys? It's your boy it's Violet 2K7 back with another Grand Theft Auto 5 video. We are back with the DLT response truck from the VMS callout. Upcoming callout from PNW Parks fan. It's not released yet, but it's in the early access testing uh, phase. So if you guys would like to test it out and get early access to it, definitely check out the Parks Benefactor program that will be linked down below in the video description. So like I was saying, you guys have absolutely been enjoying these truck guys and I have been having fun responding to different scenes with them. Uh, today we're just here on the side of the highway. I'm just with my one of my co-workers, Jermaine. We just figured we'll meet up and have a quick lunch break while it's slow. Um, also, if you guys notice, a cool thing with the lights, the one on the left has red and yellow lights, while mine on the right has just the uh, amber only. So that's pretty cool. You could go red and amber, you could go amber only, or you go red only. It's really cool how you could control all of that. And I'll show you guys that here in a little while. If you guys did not see the first video I did, definitely check it out. I showed off a lot of the key features in the first video, so I'll link it right here if you guys want to go ahead and check it out but anyway guys let's go ahead and uh let's just get this shut down i just wanted to show it off to you guys here so let's go ahead and let's turn our red lights back on and let's go ahead and clear the board and put the board down since it is not in use right now so um yeah we're just chilling out right now seeing if we get any calls and um yeah we'll see what happens how's your how's your day going buddy Everything's good? Alright, good to hear, good to hear. Alright guys, so it looks like we're getting dispatched to a call. It looks like we got a big pile up on the uh, Los Santos Freeway northbound. So we're going to go ahead and respond to that now. And uh, yesterday, I think yesterday, um, I was leading the way. So let's let our partner lead the way today. That probably would be pretty cool. So we'll let him lead the way. Alright guys, so we're going to be responding and making our way to the accident scene. We're going to go ahead and follow our partner here. And uh, let's start throwing on our sirens as well. Oh, he's driving fast right now. Damn, he is hauling it right now, guys. Let me tell him to slow down. I didn't think he's going to drive that fast. I'm going to tell him to slow down here. Okay, he left me in the dust, guys. You guys think I'm going to be able to catch up with him? Oh, it looks like we're getting some texture loss here, too. That's probably, uh, the, I spawned a bunch of fire trucks. It should clear up in a little while. This guy is hauling right now, guys. All right, we're kind of cut. We're kind of caught up to him right now. All right, here we go. All right, so the accident should be just north of the city here, and we'll uh, follow him to the scene. So they're pretty much just requesting us for traffic control. I think. They said it's a multi-vehicle multi accident, so I'm pretty sure we're going to have to probably shut down the uh, whole freeway, and depend on how bad it is. Uh, police and fire and rescue are already on scene, so we'll see what happens here as we get ready to pull up. Alright, so it looks like we're arriving on scene now, guys. Let's see what's happening. We got a lot of traffic already. So let's try to work our way through this. And turn this off for now. Alright, let me go ahead and see what's going on up here. So yeah, we got a ton of traffic. And of course, people on the other sides always want to stop and look at the accidents too. Alright, so it looks like the police cars may have despawned here, so... Let's go ahead and uh, see what's going on. We got a lot of fire trucks, looks like. Dang, it's a lot of cars over there. I don't even know how many cars are involved right now. So let's see if we get traffic uh, somehow moving here. Let's just, uh, let's do, I think there's a road wreck. Yeah, road close wreck. Let's just put that up for now. 
So we'll let that sign cycle through so everybody knows what's going on. And uh, let me see if I could just tell my uh, partner to get over here too. Alright guys, so we're just going to get the uh, second truck into position right here. And uh, let's just try to see what's going on. we got some deputies here. Uh, it looks like their cars despawned. Their cars were here before, but it's all good. How you doing, deputies? Um, yeah, you, you guys need us to do anything? Waited on the tow truck? Okay. Uh, it looks like most of the crash was in the uh, right lane in the shoulder, so... If uh, possible, I'm going to see if I can move those two cars up there so we could get the uh, at least one lane open for traffic. It's going to be piling up here. That's cool with you? Okay, thank you. Alright, so let's see if we could uh, potentially get this these two cars out the way here. Um, the truck should be good over there, so we shouldn't worry about any traffic, hopefully. Oh my goodness, this is a terrible wreck right now. We got a little Santos County Fire and Rescue on scene. Oh, we got overturned vehicles. These things are absolutely destroyed. What happened? I hope everybody's okay. I really hope everybody's okay. I see a couple of people over there. I guess they're getting treated. Wow. Oh my goodness. Damn. All right. Um. Hopefully there was no fatalities here. I'm going to see if it's possible if we could... uh potentially get these two cars out of the way so I'm gonna tell Jermaine to just just go back to your car and um you'll stay in your car I'm gonna move my car over here and see if I could potentially pull or push these out of the way so let's see if we could do that here we gotta get this road opened up all right so while he's holding back traffic I'm gonna go ahead and see if I could uh, get the road opened up here Alright, so I'm going to see if I could uh, get those cars moved out of the way. Traffic seems to be listening for now, so let's go ahead and move up here. I'm going to put the board down for a second while we're rolling around. Now, I'm going to see if I could either, because we do have this heavy-duty bumper, so we could either probably push these cars or even I could possibly pull them. I'm going to try to push this one first. So let's see if we can push this, guys. Alright, so we are able to just push this off of the road here. So we just uh, push it to the side. I mean, it's already wrecked, so it's not like we're doing any more damage to it. We're just trying to get the road open a bit. I can push it forward, but I can't push it uh, sideways. Let's see if we can just push it back this way now. <laughs> Alright, that was weird. We pushed it so easily the first time, but now we can't really seem to push it. So Let's see if we could uh, pull it, maybe. Alright guys, so let's see if we get this uh, hooked up here. Just gonna put this uh, tow rope, put this tow rope to the car, and let's see if we just pull it possibly over here, maybe. Hopefully we could. Okay. Alright, perfect. Go ahead and disconnect that. And let's see if we can move that other car out of the way now. Alright, so let's see if we can find something on this car to attach to. It may be kind of hard. Uh, let's see if we can attach to anything here. Damn, this thing got smashed up, guys. Damn. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and put our winch and attach it to this car here and yeah, we're gonna try to pull this car off the road now we still didn't get any tow trucks here either well, these tow trucks must be backed up or something all right so we're gonna go ahead and just 
pull this car back. And I'm just really trying to just open the road back up, guys. That's the whole goal of this right now. Get the uh, road opened up. Alrighty. So we got that. Go ahead and uh, release the winch. And let's see. I don't know if I'm going to move these cars over here. Let's just start with uh, one lane open for now. There's a lot going on right now. So let's start with one car with one lane open. And um, let's see if we could uh, direct traffic around right now. We're, we're probably going to have to put some cones around as well. Alrighty. So let's get the board back up and then try to get the uh, left lane open here. Alright guys, so let's see if we could find or if we could program the board to do something a little bit better here. So we're going to go ahead and uh, I think we're going to have to do a custom message this time. So let's go into edit VMS sequence and then let's try to, let's try to, uh, wait what did I just do? I always do that by accident. Let's go into edit sequences, okay. So let's go ahead and pick what we want this to do. Alright, I'm going to have to just put this somewhere here. So we put it back here. So let's go into edit sequence now. So we're going to make a custom um, message here basically. So let's go right lane close. Let's go wreck ahead, right lane close, and then maybe left arrow. Or should we go right lane close, wreck ahead? I don't know which one we should put first. Wreck ahead, right lane close, right. Let's go right lane close first. All right, first let's name it. So we're gonna do, let's just name it right lane close wreck ahead. So that's what we're gonna name it. So we're gonna put right lane close. So we're gonna do number 17 first. So 17. And let's go ahead and add. And then the next one is gonna be 16. So let's do number 16 and we'll add. Oh wait, I think we skipped 17. Okay, let's add 17. And we'll add. And let's take away the sign one. We all need the blink. Alright, so it's gonna go. I wanna do. Can I put this up? Okay, perfect. So Right lane close, wreck ahead, and then we're going to go with the arrows to the left. But I want to do the moving arrows, so I'm going to use five first. So let's put five. So five. Then we're going to put six. So six. And then we're going to put seven. You can also just click here too. Seven. And I think that's going to be all of our sequences there. Oh, I did it backwards. <laughs> Alright, so let's go ahead and edit it again. <laughs> so... I have it in the wrong order which makes sense so let's go ahead and move this down to the bottom move this down to the second third and one that should be it now so I think I think we figured it out <laughs> there we go oh wait no it's still kind of off Right lane close, wreck ahead. Oh yeah, it's good. All right, so we figured it out, guys. So that's the first time I put in my own sequence, so that's pretty cool. So right lane close, there's a wreck ahead, and get to the left lane if you want to pass. Okay, so we figured it out, so that was pretty cool. Um, oh shoot, somehow I attached these two trucks together, so let's go ahead and get that unattached. Sorry about the map glitching out. It kind of happens when I spawn too many of the fire trucks and the ambulances so next thing let's go ahead and start putting down some cones and then we will try to get the lanes opened up 
Alright guys, so we're gonna go ahead and put down some police tape. Police tape is another mod, it is released. You guys can go ahead go ahead and use it in game if you guys like. It's pretty cool. Um I did have to delete the fire trucks because they were just uh lagging out the game, which kinda sucks. So what we're gonna do let's go ahead and uh tie our police tape to this. And let's go ahead and get some cones. So this Actually, let's put a little closer. Let's put one about right there. Alrighty. Sometimes you got to put them like a little bit close because the GTA physics, the way that the uh, fabric is or the tape is. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> let's go ahead and remove that piece there. Let's also put a continuous on. Make it a little bit easier for us. Alright, so we're going to attach. Right, let's see, we got to get over some more. Alrighty. Probably going to move this truck over a little bit here. I want to make sure we uh, leave space for the cars to go by. Now if you guys are enjoying all of these DOT style videos, definitely let me know by hitting the like button and leaving some comments down below. And um, like I said, if you guys have any other ideas on things we could do, just let me know down below in the comments section, of course. Oh, we got a long way to go. Alright, let's start moving a little bit faster here. Continuous mode definitely helps out. Alright, so just stick with me guys. I know you can't really see what's going on, but uh, in about 30 seconds, everything would make sense here. Alright, I think that was a main car on a day yeah, this part right here too. Okay. But we got past the main cars. And uh let's put that. And let's tie this last one. Uh I think because I have it in continuous mode. Alright, we'll just do that. Okay. So, let's take a look and see what we just did. I should have went around those cars too, but traffic shouldn't hit those cars, hopefully. Alright, so we have the police tape down. We have all of the cones down. Oh, I gotta come out of this. <laughs> uh, we should be able to get traffic flowing now. I think I'm gonna put another set of barricades here, just because I feel like they're gonna try to do U-turns and do a whole bunch of craziness, so... Let's uh, do that. Alright, so continuous is still on for us. Let's do... Let's see if we can find something like those circle ones. Let's use this one. So this is just to prevent them from doing U-turns because they like to do U-turns here and I just want to try to avoid that. I like that it tells you the length on the bottom too so you know if you want to make them like really even or something like that. Alright, so we should be okay. I'm going to go ahead and let them know that the road is going to be opened up. And then we're going to go ahead and try to get traffic flowing here, guys. So let's switch the message. We're going to switch it to... Uh-oh. Jesus. Don't start shooting, please. Everybody's going to freak out. Okay. Whew. That was close. Alright. I didn't want them to all start freaking out. Because then shots will be fired and everybody will start running and then we'll have a whole nother 
mess on our hands. Okay, perfect. All right, so we got our truck to say what we wanted to say, both of them. So let's just put it over here now. Hopefully that would help out with visibility. And uh, the other one could probably stay there. Or maybe we'll move the other one up a little bit. So let's try to get traffic moving now, guys. And now is going to be the moment of truth. Whether all this hard work we did paid off or not. So let's see if traffic is going to be able to get through here. Let me know in the comment section also. If you, do you guys think this is going to work? Yes, it's going to work. Or no, it's not going to work. Let me know down below in the video description. Alright, guys. So it looks like it works. It looks like it works. Now, LSPDFR did crash while I was setting up this whole video. So this original uh, road restriction I put here on the yellow map, since it crashed, none of the cars are going through. So we kind of have to like manually drag them through the restriction. But they they continue to drive once they get through. To... Let's uh, see. Uh, yeah, see, they get stuck like right here. See, once they get past that little restriction, I'm happy I put it the way I put it so they're not, like, fully in it. See, they could drive once they reach about here, maybe. Let's see. I oh, know they're still stuck. Let's put them, like, on the shoulder and put him there. All right. Well, it kind of worked. I don't know why these guys aren't moving. You guys out of the restriction. You guys are good to go. All right. So it pretty much worked for the most part. So hopefully you guys did enjoy this episode. We're going to go ahead and find out what's going on with the tow truck companies because we still don't have any tow trucks here. So we're going to try to get some tow trucks here and then try to get this scene wrapped up. So hopefully you guys did enjoy. Um, let's see. Should we try to let's see. If we can call it the tow truck is probably going to get stuck too. So let's just end it here, guys. So hopefully you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.